Welcome back to the second episode of creating the stylized weapon in Blender. On the first video, we remodeled this decent axe in Blender. And if you didn't watch it, it's somewhere like this in the right top corner of the video. You can watch it first, then come back to this video. In this video, we're gonna give it a texture. So without any further delay, let's start the process. To give a texture in Blender, we have two main ways and the first one is just to come to Material Properties and click on New to create a new texture and Material and the second way is just to come to the Shading tab and uh, select your object and click on New to, to give it a texture and Material it's the same, both of them is the same thing, there is no different but the difference is that here you're going to work with nodes, but here we don't have any nodes. But uh, it's completely up to you which one to choose, but I uh, prefer this one because I found it easier to work. And before we, before we start to give, it, give the textures, let me enable the screencast keys here. First of all, I'm going to start with these leather parts. Uh, select one of them and click on new and as you see here we have the same properties here as we have them here too we have base color we also we have base color here subsurface subsurface there's no different between these two properties these two techniques this should be uh, our leather and uh, i'm gonna change its base color to somewhere like this a uh, brownish color and let's make it a little bit darker that's good and it's mm, a little bit shiny I should uh, increase its roughness to somewhere like this that's good and select the other parts other leather parts press shift and select all of them and at the end select the first one that we gave it a leather texture and we wanna uh, we want to copy this material to all of them and for that case press ctrl l and uh, select link materials in this case we have the same material for all the leather parts the next part we're gonna uh, give it a texture is this crystal one uh, click select it and click on new and rename it to crystal and we can rename anything you like it's green in the reference and i'm gonna give it a green color as we have it in the reference tab and let's decrease the roughness to zero and let's increase the metallic to one to have this beautiful effect the crystal effect here and the next and the next part we're gonna work is these Sapphires here, the metallic sapphires here. Click on new and call gold. We're gonna give them a gold texture. Uh, first of all, let's change the color to something yellowish like this. And let's increase the metallic to one. And maybe we can decrease the roughness a little bit, somewhere like this. It's good. And the next part I'm gonna uh, work with is these, but these nails here. We can copy this material to them. Just press shift and select all of them. And, oh, not, not this one. Oh, select all of the nails. And at the end, select one of the sapphires. Let me select all of them and select one of these sapphires and uh, as we did for the leather parts press ctrl l and link materials and we have the same materials as we have for sapphires here and the next part is this one this should be leather but it's a green leather i'm gonna uh, click on new and uh, right and i'm gonna click on new and rename it to leather leather green change the base color to something like this and make it darker somewhere like this that's good and 
decrease its roughness to somewhere like 0.8 I think it's good and work for us then come to this part this blade part click on new and call it blade and all we need to do in here is to increase the metallic to one and decrease the roughness to somewhere like this that's good and it's a little bit weird here the out the edges of the uh, blade uh, let's select it and press tab to go to edit mode and press alt and select this loop cut here i'm gonna uh, push it a little bit forward press g and y to have a little bit hard surface here uh, that's better than before then that's good that's our blade material and maybe we can change its color make it a little bit darker i like it it's good and these two parts are left this part and the wooden part for this part we can give it a simple diffuse color like we did for the other parts or we can paint in the texture paint here uh, i'm gonna give it a texture paint but you can give a, a simple texture a diffuse color texture as we did for the other parts but in this tutorial i'm gonna work with the texture point for these points for these two parts too but it's a little bit weird uh, here let's fix it push it a little bit upwards it's good and select this one this handle and come to the texture paint and here we have this handle selected and let's choose the material to simple image uh, and click on new to create a new material new picture and new image for this material and call it handle then i'm going to change the color to somewhere like this uh, dark brown color maybe this one will will be good that's good and click on ok and we have this color here and you can paint on this color like the reference reference image and let's change the color of brush to black and decrease the strength something something like 0.4 and start painting manually with your hand and i'm gonna do it uh, i'm gonna do a quick quick work here and it won't be perfect but i'm gonna i want to show show you how to work with this part too but in, in future we'll have more tutorials on this part too let's just quickly draw the lines here I think it's enough i don't have a pen and i did this with mouse and in a quick way i know it's not good but you can create uh, far better results with more time and uh, effort on it okay come to the shading tab and let's uh, delete the material and click on new here then press shift a uh, and search for image texture and easily connect the color to the base color and it's black because we don't import any images here from this menu you can choose the handle as we did here in the texture point we named it handle and select the handle image as a material for this object here and also let's decrease the increase the roughness 
somewhere like this because it's leather and we can maybe add a color ramp add a color ramp node and push it a little, a little bit to the left and also bring a bump node search for bump and connect the color to the factor and again color to the height of the bump node and connect the normal to the normal and see the result we have this decent effect it's it's really powerful and perfect and you can just invert it and maybe we can decrease the strings a little bit i don't want it to be funky i think it's good and for the last part, the wooden part here, we can do the same process as we did for this handle part here. And let's come to the texture point. And we have the handle image here, just delete it. And we don't have any images here. Uh, click on new here and write, rename it to wood and change its color to somewhere like this. Uh, give it a wooden color and then press on OK. We have this color here and let's change this. Bra let's change the color of brush to something like this and start painting on it. Again, I'm going to mention that I don't have any, I don't have pen and I'm doing this process with mouse and it's not good. You can create better results with pen and more effort and time on it. It's just a quick way to show you how it works. Okay, I think it's enough for this part too. Come back to the shading tab and click on new here. Then again, as uh, we did for the handle part, search for the image texture and connect the color to the base color and on the image tab just select the wood part here and yes there we go we have this wooden effect here it's not perfect i know but as i did for the handle part you can just create you can create better results with more time and effort on it and there you go it's our text we modeled in the first video and quickly gave it a decent texture if you want to learn more about blender just click on the subscribe button and hit the bell in the case of not missing any new videos also like the video and leave a comment if it was helpful for you or not see you on the next video